Are you one of the millions of Americans on GLP-1 who cannot access or who has difficulty affording the name brand medication? There are many of you out there wondering what to do or considering if a compounded medication might be good for you. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Katrina Mattingly, Chief Medical Officer of Options Medical Weight Loss and Board Certified Obesity Medicine Specialist. I get questions from lots of reporters. Here are a few I'm going to answer about compounded medications. A reporter writes, alongside the relatively high cost of GLP-1 drugs in the U.S., there have been recent reports of shortages or limited availability of these drugs occurring as demand increases. Recent news reports have emphasized that some adults are seeking generic or compounded versions of these drugs through sources such as medical spas or compounding pharmacies, which may sell products claiming to be name brand GLP-1s that have not been vetted by the FDA. The reporter asked, what are semaglutide or trisepatide salts? Why are they used and have they been proven to be effective? Semaglutide or trisepatide salts are products that are used in some formularies of compounded GLP-1 medications. And while these medications are indicated for diabetes treatments, weight loss, and decreasing cardiovascular disease risk, the semaglutide and trisepatide salts have not been proven to be safe or effective in treating these conditions. While reviewing a pharmacy's formulary, look for a semaglutide or tisepatide sodium or acetate to help identify these salts. The FDA warns, the agency does not have information on whether these salts have the same chemical and pharmacological properties as the active ingredient in the approved drug, and we are not aware of any lawful basis for their use in compounding. The reporter continues, what are some of the biggest dangers of online pharmacies selling compounded GLP-1? Some of the biggest dangers are that you have to take the extra time to research the compounding pharmacy, research what they are compounding into the medication, research their quality control protocols, research if the pharmacy has been cited for any violations and if corrective measures were undertaken and if they were successful. There are several useful online tools to look up important information regarding a potential compounding pharmacy partner. Checking for their certifications that will attest to if they have quality control and safety measures in place, such as if their drug manufacturing is sterile and their handling and dispensing is really, really important. It's also a good idea to ask for the certificate of analysis for their medication so you know what's in it. The reporter then asks, what should people keep in mind about taking medication that isn't FDA approved? While there are a lot of effective medications on the market that are not FDA approved or used off-label to treat everyday conditions. A good example is that compounded cream that your physician ordered for you that has to be compounded by that one specialized pharmacy in your area, or that diaper rash cream or ointment for your baby or your grandchild. Many people don't realize that your big box chains pharmacies compound a number of medications prescribed for your physicians right on site inside the pharmacy. Another good example of a well-known medication used for a purpose other than which it's FDA approved is Pitocin used off-label for labor induction. The general public is treated with medications every day that are not FDA approved specifically for the conditions for which they are being used to treat. Semaglutide was initially FDA approved for diabetes management in 2017. During research studies, it was observed that these patients were also losing a significant amount of weight, leading to other beneficial downstream health effects. So semaglutide started being prescribed off-label to help patients lose weight until it finally gained FDA approval for weight management four years later in 2021. The reporter asks, does insurance typically cover GLP-1 that's compounded? Why or why not? Insurance companies typically are not covering compounded GLP-1 medications, not right now. They tend to wait until the FDA approves the medication or when the generic equivalent comes to the market. Some of these compounded GLP-1 versions gain FDA approval once the patents expire on the name brand counterparts. And the first GLP-1 did gain FDA approval for the generic version recently. For those who qualify for GLP-1 but aren't caught in the insurance gap or the drug shortage gap, it's worth a conversation with your medical provider on exploring compounded GLP-1. The current FDA criteria is a BMI of 27 with one weight-related chronic medical condition or a BMI greater than 30. The Obesity Medicine Association has released a set of recent guidelines for prescribers and patients to consider if a conversation surrounding the risk versus benefits of compounded weight loss medications, specifically the GLP-1, is in the patient's best interest if they have limited treatment options. Compounding pharmacies are playing a critical role in GLP-1 availability for all those who qualify for GLP-1 by the traditional FDA criteria, but who encounter challenges to accessing the drug for various reasons. It is very important here to ensure that any compounding pharmacies are one that your physician has a relationship with and has vetted. Although their specific drug formularies are not FDA approved, compounding pharmacies themselves are regulated by the FDA just like any other pharmacy. 
checking the legit script website to make sure the pharmacy has the certification is one way to vet a compounding pharmacy. The Alliance for Pharmacy Compounding also keeps a list of state licensed compounding pharmacies. Finally, compounded medications are not new. Anyone that has had to get that compounded medicine for your pet prescribed by their veterinarian or has received a prescription for a special compounded cream or a medication mixed with a steroid that your physician has prescribed for you knows the value of a good and well-trusted compounding pharmacy and the medications provided for your relief. If you are considering medication for weight loss and you have questions or you've had difficulty getting the medications that you need, options can help. Like and subscribe to our channel for more information on the medications we offer, and then reach out for a free consultation at Options. Transform your body, transform your life.